on our way to our doctor's appointment. We have two back to back. We have our regular checkup appointment and then we have a second appointment with a cardiologist. Do you want to tell them what happened? So nothing happened. The baby is fine. Since the last appointment, we were 19 weeks, and they were looking around, making sure that the heart was fine, the kidneys are fine, all that's fine, and the heart looked good, all the ventricles looked good. There was just one part of the heart that the doctors weren't able to see, and they said it could be one or two things, the way the baby was positioned, or that the baby was just too small at that point, so they said just to be on the safe side come back three weeks later when the baby's a little bit bigger and go to this cardiologist person and um see if they can see it then because they didn't say anything was wrong they just said they couldn't see it so um yeah so that's where we're going today i'm not worried never been worried i never said i was worried i'm not worried either i'm just saying that's what happened so uh yeah two appointments back to back at Mission Bay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hurry up. gonna get a flu shot today I'm not sure if I want to I don't know if I have to do I have to do I have to get a flu shot I don't know I really don't want to okay baby's heart was good her feet was good as I like... gained five pounds <laughs> Fuck. no two pounds no was... no since the last time I was here <laughs> Two pounds. I gained like five pounds. No, because the last time you said I was, was at one ninety seven. So oh, their last appointment. My last appointment I was one ninety seven, babe. And so I decided, yes, on the flu shot, because I'm such a baby when I get sick and I don't want to get sick. So yeah, my choice. And it's better. Oh yeah, so I hope I don't get sick. Where does it say that? Oh, yeah. Fetal heart center. You ready, baby? Here we go. Do you always read Date it? of birth. your stuff out loud? Like yeah. You fill it out? I do. That's horrible. You're bugging everyone. I'm not. Shut up. I don't care. <laughs> date of birth. Who's your date of birth? What's your date of birth? Seriously? <laughs> July 24th. Wow. 724 84. <laughs> wow. You're cool. What's your social security number? I don't know that. I'm not seeing you out loud.
such a long appointment. They, um, so the technician was checking the heart, hella times, flipped me over. We're probably here for a good 25 minutes. No, probably half an hour of just checking the heart and checking the heart. So now we're just gonna wait for the um, cardiologist to come and talk to us and let us know. Hopefully everything's okay. And indeed, everything is okay with baby. Cardiologist said that the baby's heart looked great and we have nothing to worry about. So my very closest friend, Elisa, and her wife, Ophelia, uh, just had their baby. And a few weeks ago, we went to go see him at the hospital because they gave birth where I will be giving birth. Um, so we went to go uh, check out her room and see how she was doing. But the baby's here now, so we are going over to Elisa's house to kind of check out we'll obviously see the baby but we also want to check out her stroller <laughs> because we are having such a hard time finding a stroller that is going to be perfect for us so we had a visit with her and that was fun I love this girl so much and let me tell you she's looking real real good just having a baby three weeks ago like what the hell I better look this good girl because like uh, you know, fucking car seat blogger. Oh, that's the one that goes with the So look, so. Did you see that? That, that knocked me down. Right? <laughs> Watch like, out! Hey, can you fit in there? Hey, <laughs> I know. Like, okay, look. So for, so for this one, these are adapters that actually go to the Nuna Baby uh, stroller, right? We bought it for the Upa Baby because the Upa Baby car seat, the for me, the car seat seatbelt, it should hang, right? Mm -hmm. But the Uba baby one was like this. So he, even being little, he looked uncomfortable, right? So we returned it and we got this. This, feel how light it is. Girl. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, like the baby. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, so this, it's the light car seat. They have another version, which is heavier, but why do you want heavier when you don't have light? Yeah. But that's the new one, though. Yeah. That's not the but I bought adapters for this one because I have oh, the next one and I wanted that part. Okay. So are the Nuna and the Upa like a little bit similar? Similar brands, like by the same company, or oh, are that they the just Nuna? similar adapters. brands? I would say similar. I think that one's better. Which one? The, the, mm, the, Nuna? No. the Nuna, I would say it's more simple. But everyone complained company. about the storage um, on that. At the bottom seat. Well, that's yeah, why, that's why you wanted to an Upa baby, but then you know car seat. But the Upa baby stroller comes with this. That's tight. Which is cool. Cause, <laughs> you know? You awesome, know man. Like the rich <laughs> folks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, baby. You want to do a live demo, Erica? Yeah, the baby. Look, and then this goes down. That's tight. I have like that. Or if you want to show off your baby. Oh, and then it can look kind of like a little mini sleeping bag. Look. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That's oh, tight. And a little Tempur-Pedic mattress. <laughs> right in here. And the number one complaint on the reviews was the bottom part. They were like, I don't have any, I still have to carry all my shit with me. So what's the point of having... Turn yeah. it, baby. I like, I like, I like yeah. how... Well, I tried the mommy hook on that. And honestly, I felt like it... Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, it might be because I'd be having a I like this. But this, this, I feel like the Nuna is intended to be a little bit more like traveling. Like not so much like, like this where honestly, like if you look at the two, this is easier to kind of pack if you're going to travel somewhere, right? Versus this. But you might get this and this. Actually, um, they need to sponsor me. Hashtag that. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag at me. <laughs> at me. <laughs> at me, please. I forget how to baby stuff. So why do you have two strollers? Well, because there's two moms. And, um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, because, uh, wow. Because it's Elisa. I'm oh, like, where the fuck I forget. Because she just did it naturally. I'm like, oh. oh. Okay. Mine and mine is fresh. 
Yeah. So, well, this one, see, for me, I this is more me. Like, I like to have hella shit. Where this is her. Like, she doesn't want to have hella shit, you know? But, um, let me see. So, this is when you guys are solo mm -hmm. with the baby. Yeah. So, this is like, again, I feel like the difference between the two, this one is more like, if you're shopping and you want to be able to like store hella shit, this one, I think these two, this one you can add a second row. So if you want to put two of your kids on there, or two of them, or you just got a big ass kid that needs more labor. If you're going to put it on here, you can pull back here, right? Oh, okay. And bring this down. the back there's this little clippy thingy. <laughs> and then basically, I suggest putting on the brake when you do this. Okay, there we go. So now this is the car seat's in here. Okay. Yeah. And so you put this down because this kind of like glides in, kind of leans on it. What I hella love about this car seat, you know Mexicans gotta have their kids hella covered up. This magnetic piece is on the side. Oh shit. And it like like closes it hella nicely. Like this. Look. See that? Oh that's nice, yeah. See? That's magnetic? Yeah. I think I, I like that for sure, but I like that better than this. Yeah. And Damn you, girl, you wanna spend them? I mean, she got two different like well, like brand. Ahorita lo vamos a encontrar. Did they go through that way? Yeah, I texted you, thank you. Yeah, oh, you're welcome. Um, um, yeah, because then we have to get a phone. We are already in the So we're going to have fun first before we get our phone. Okay. Because if we do the hay ride and then we go into the farm. Sí, son para los animales, papá. Mira. Good job, Tino. Perfecto. Yeah. You're, you're in the picture, though, baby. Okay. There we Oh, here we go. Here. Keep your phone. Oh, mushy. No todo, pues.
Mira. Oh, es cool. Acá hay más, mire. Oh, careful. You okay, dude? It's okay. It's okay. ¿Te gusta esa? All the kids got the little ones. Uh, uh, wow! Uh, uh, Can we go get ice water again? Carla thought it was going to be hot. We just got back home. The boys had a good time. They knocked out, dude. They knocked out. So now and everything. it's we're watching Grey's Anatomy now. And you know what's crazy? We were talking about life in the car, just our eleven years together. It's been wild. Do you guys feel like if you if you dedicate ten plus years to someone in your twenties and grow with them financially, emotionally, and physically, do you guys feel like you get the best out of that person at the end is it worth it I, we were having this discussion in yeah. the car like if i would have stayed with my ex and invested the time that i have with that person in my relationship now would i have enjoyed them as much as i enjoy my wife now i don't know we're but, having a but like i had told you like you were doing your you're you're a dog to her. Like from what you were telling me, you were you were messed up to her. Like anyway, um, I just wonder if you invest that person. People always complain about their ex being that their ex wasn't this, their mm -hmm. ex wasn't that. Well, what if you help them grow and mold them into the person that you want them to be? But you, would you get them the the best out of that person? But you know what? I truly feel. People are put in your lives, not necessarily to stay in your lives, and maybe to help you grow for the next person, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's a friendship. I mean, shit, look at me and Dina. Like, she was put in my life, and I, she did one gesture, and I'll be damned if she is mm -hmm. out of my life. Like, no, she is stuck with me whether she likes it or not. Like, it took that one gesture freaking 10 years ago. Random. But people are put in your lives, not necessarily to stay in your lives. Do you agree or disagree? Please comment below because we want to know your feedback. I just want to know what? That question, you brought it all to left field. I just had that one question. What was your question? Is is it Drunk. worth your time investing in one person through all the goods, the bads, and the uglies? Invest in that one person to mold them into who you want to be their, for your life partner? Or is it just better to find a new person and start over? That's I don't get that question. Like, what do you mean? Is it better? Cause me, Ooh, sorry, guys. me and you have been through the ringer. We've been through everything. We've yes. been through the worst financial situation, the worst yes. trust issues. Yes. Everything, anything. We've been through so much problems. 
all the shit that we've dealt with each other, our flaws in each other that we hate and dislike, but now we grew and we're at that spot where everything's awesome about our relationship. You know what? Everything has finally aligned. That's what it is. And it aligned years ago. You rat bastard. Don't make those faces. We're way out of left field with this one. It's okay, because then people can Just comment on it. edit out everything. We had a good time. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> comment, like, subscribe. And fart.